Well, hello, hello, everybody. Wow. How's everybody doing today? I hope all are well. Thank you for watching. Thank you for clicking on my video. For those who are new to my channel, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell and give my video a thumbs up because it helps out my channel. You're probably thinking, wow. I'm just kidding. You're probably thinking, why is she wearing cat ears? Well, because I think it's fun. I think it's cute. And I think it goes with the theme of the theme of what I'm about to talk about in this video. So yes, that's why I'm wearing my cat ears. And it's evening and I already did my skincare routine. So you can see that my skin looks a little dewy and glowy. It's not oily or anything. It just it feels good. It feels it feels really, really good. And it's looking great. It's looking great. It's looking very great. Despite some of the blemishes I might have, like the pimples I might have on my skin. But anyways, that's that's for a different story. But uh, for those who are not new to my channel, thank you for staying subscribed. Thank you for supporting my channel. I really do appreciate you guys for staying subscribed. I'm trying to hit 1K subscribers. I do giveaways each month, and you may be next. So subscribe. It doesn't cost a thing. It's free. And um, yeah, I think these cat ears are getting into my personality like better. You better subscribe to my channel. <laughs> anyway so in this channel we're gonna go ahead in this video we're gonna go ahead and talk about my best favorite skincare products and the worst and then along with hair care nail care and hygiene <laughs> I'm putting them all together I did videos from all my favorite makeup of 2020 so I'm doing this broad spectrum of the other side of beauty Yes, there's another side to beauty than just makeup. Ha ha ha. Got it. Y'all didn't, didn't process that, you know, when it comes to beauty videos or makeup videos. I'm just kidding, you guys. But, um, <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and start off with my worst, my worst product of 2020 that I do not want to wear or see ever again in my, in my staple of of skincare routine which is this right here this is Neutrogena let me know if y'all feel the same way too it's my Neutrogena alcohol free toner and I thought because it was alcohol free it's gonna be good for my sensitive skin it was gonna be great it says it won't strip skin's natural moisture that's what it says and it also claims that your skin will feel fresh and clean without tightness drying or stinging hmm now it didn't sting, but the tightness and drying was there. So did y'all get the same experience as I did with this product? If y'all didn't, great, wonderful for you guys. So continue using this in your staple of skin regimen. But for me, it's going in the dumpster. Yes, it's going in the trash. So now let's get into the into the into the real nitty gritty yeah, of my skincare here. So first off. I'm, I'm gonna show you all my favorites so this is um so the products I'm gonna show you is all my favorites of 2020 so I'm gonna put them off I'm gonna put them into categories of let's start off with my hair care okay so what am I doing for this hair right I have so much hair um I'm not doing much I just you know wash straighten and then sometimes I use this oil is like a, it almost feels like honey. It's called the Almond Moist, the Almond Marshmallow Hydration Serum by Eden Body Works. I got this in one of my Ipsy bags. And it does real good for my hair. And it has a really nice, pleasant smell too. Um, and, I, and I have noticed that it does make my skin look more natural, more natural, uh, less damaged. Less, because I do have like split ends and my hair looks kind of damaged at the ends there but um uh it's because i don't give my my hair some tlc along with my nails my nails i don't give my nails any tlc so we're not doing any so in this video for 2020 or not even for 2021 maybe 2021 might be different but for 2020 there's no tlc for my nails uh there's no nail care uh products i'll be showing you today for for my nails because I really don't take care of them really <clears throat> I just polish them I think that's that's the most that I do with them just polish them and maybe follow them a little but as far as taking care of them I don't I don't do any of that I just I just don't <laughs> I just don't so but for my hair 
the the most TLC that I'll probably do for my hair is probably put like a serum, like I said, you know, to kind of, you know, keep it from damage from from the heat damage from my straightener when I straighten out my hair. And then I also use this hairspray. I don't use it. I don't use it all the time. Um, I would think I only use it once whenever I had curls. When I when I curl my hair, I do um, want to use like a like a hairspray to keep the curls intact. And this IJ Key uh, Beach Club Volumizing Texture Spray, it does volumize your hair. So I noticed that it was volumizing my hair more than it was keep, keeping my curls tighter like I wanted them to. But um, it's still one of my favorites. I love I love the hold in this. And yeah, so these two are my hair care um, products for styling, my styling. So that's in the realm of styling my hair. But for washing my hair, I use, you know, on a regular basis. Um, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't um, start using this until this year. 2020 or 2019 sorry well, I started using this product in 2019 is the the new Dove Derma Care Scalp it's a new um, it's a new line of Dove shampoos that they have out and this is in the anti dandruff shampoo with pyrethion zinc um, it's for dryness and itchy relief gently cleanses and soothes itchy dry scalp for smooth less frizzy hair no visible flakes with regular use. It's flake free and pH balanced, which is true. I've noticed that my hair last year and the year before that, my hair was was getting was having a lot of uh, dandruff, and so I didn't know what you know what to use. I was using different shampoos, and none of them worked. So when I came across this, um, I I gave it a try. I was like, because I I was I was wearing Head and Shoulders. T gel, Selsun Blue. I was using a whole bunch of products, a whole bunch of shampoos that just weren't working for me. And uh, I came across this and like, well, you know what? I'm just gonna try it out. Cause I was getting itchy scalp. And when it said here it was itch, itch relief, I was like, okay, I gotta grab, I, I need it. I need it for that. So, so this is a staple for my hair care. So that's the end of the round for my hair care. Now to body and hygiene. So for my body, I do the Dove Sensitive Skin Beauty Bar. Okay, I use this for my for my body because I realized that I used Zest before. I used Caress. I used um, Oil of LA. I use a whole bunch of uh, body soaps, and I don't use I don't use um, the liquid, you know, body washes or anything like that i don't know just the the, the it, it, i just cringe just the thought of those little scrunchies that you use to you know to scrub your skin with it, i just cringe that because because i just think of all the dirt that accumulates on the on the sponge or the loofah and then you're reusing it and reusing it. Ugh, it, I, it, i just cringe the thought of that so i'm like i'll just use a body i'll just use a bar instead of instead of one of those sponges you know to scrub my skin set my dirty skin you know which um if, if i do have like a body scrub or i use a body scrub i will use like an exfoliating um pad you know to to exfoliate my skin but as far as just cleansing you know getting my my body clean i'll go ahead and use a bar of soap and i i dove is uh one of my staples now for my body hygiene you know to keep it clean so apart from, you know, keeping my body clean, um, I have this coconut oil by Kapari. It's a, it's a deodorant. It is aluminum free. It's vegan, paraben free. So it doesn't have a lot of preservatives to kind of keep, um, to kind of keep the shelf life once you use, once you use, once you start using this, um, deodorant it isn't they're not meant to be long lasting so this one's almost finished i've had this for for about a year already and i can tell that um i can tell that it's wearing that the that the effects of the deodorant is wearing away it's not as strong as it used to be when i first 
opened it up when I first got it. I'm showing it, I'm showing the wrong way. When I first got it, it's not as uh, potent as it used to be. Um, I can tell that it's starting to the my deodorant is starting to fade away. Like the strength is starting to fade away. Um, I start noticing that you know towards the end of my work day, and you know confused because I was like. This is supposed to last me like for three days. It says here it's supposed to last you for like three days. But I can realize like at the end of the day, I, I can start to, yeah, notice that the, that the strength is, is weakening now. So each time I wear it, you know, and if I if I had a hard day's work, I can tell that it's, it's starting to weaken. So, but um, I do recommend this for people who have, who, who dermatologists tell you. Go buy the sensitive, you know, there's dermatologists that tell you to go buy the aluminum free ones, the ones that don't have, like, I have, I have, I had some several deodorants that the dermatologist would tell me to go get. Um, I think half of the ones he told me to get, I didn't try, but the ones that I did try were always giving me some kind of like sensitivity towards them. So I decided to go natural. And to me, natural is the way to go. And I feel like that would be the way to go for most of my viewers. If y'all have, if y'all are sensitive to aluminum, to, um, you know, to fragrances, you know, if you get those stains under your underarm, sometimes it's because of the aluminum. If you get stains under there, um, if you don't, that's great for you guys. That's awesome. I just, I just was not, I was not fortunate. I, I did not, I wasn't fortunate or, or I wasn't made that way i was made with sensitive underarms and so this is the this is this was like a really a, a big game changer in my life you know this deodorant was a game changer in my life because for 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 a long time there i was you know very self-conscious of of my underarms because none of these deodorants were they were always um wearing wearing off or they were always giving me those stains under my my underarms and they were also irritating my underarms. They were itching. They were, it was just causing me irritation. And then some, some of them were also, were also giving me some kind of sensitivity with my, um, with my breathing as far as like, I was starting to feel like pul heart palpitations, almost like, you know, yeah, just not something normal that you normally would an effect that you normally wouldn't want to get from a deodorant and that's what I was that's what I was noticing each time I was wearing um, a different deodorant but this was a, a big game changer for me so I do recommend this for anybody who is struggling with with uh, finding a deodorant you know struggling with all those issues that I was having you leave me your comments down below let me know what worked best for you you know out of all these items if you have any of these items you know or any items that you have in your collection let me know if it worked for you what worked for you I, I'm I want to know I want to know what worked for you so um, also talking about keeping it keeping it clean <laughs> I brush my teeth <laughs> always incorporate flossing brushing my teeth I'm brushing my teeth with um with Colgate and then I use my mouthwash, my Reach mouthwash. Those are my staples for my my oral hygiene, okay? So those are all my staples for that. So once I got I got those out of the way, um I'm going to go ahead and go into my skincare for my for my face. What I do for my face. So first off, I want to show you what my first favorite facial wash of all times and I gotta I gotta give it to them this year um, this is my first favorite uh, the Neutrogena deep clean normal to oily skin facial cleanser because I use this all the time I use this whenever like whenever after makeup after I put on makeup and I, and I clean it off I wash my face with this and this and this really gets really penetrates into into my skin and it really helps with uh with those pimples um it, it helps with pimples um i think in in their ingredients they do have, yeah they have silic salicylic salicylic acid which is good for pimples so 
I always use this, you know, right after doing like a makeup wear test because this will, will this will strip my skin of all those dirt and impurities that nobody wants to have because then you'll start ending up having pimples on your skin and on your face that you don't want. And this is one, this is my first favorite facial cleanser. So speaking of the makeup, get rid of makeup and using my Neutrogena Deep Clean. Um, I did use this Clinique uh, Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I'm pretty sure there's other better cleansing balms out there that I heard of. But for me, this is one of, this is my best favorite uh, 2020 uh, makeup removing product. My Neutrogena makeup removing wipes. You know, that would be my first and this would have been my second. So I have this in front of me. I don't have my wipes, my Neutrogena wipes in front of me, which I should have grabbed and I didn't. But, um, but they're the, they're in a blue package. They're just called Neutrogena uh, makeup removing wipes. So yeah, you can get it at Walmart. Um, I think you can get them at Walgreens, any department, any drugstore, you can get them there. They're just the towelettes, makeup removing towelettes from Neutrogena. Those are my number one makeup re makeup removing wipes because they will get rid of they will get rid of you know eye stains and lipstick uh, lipsticks that stay on for so long for like almost 24 hours. Yeah, that makeup removing wipe gets rid of all of that stubborn uh, liquid lipstick that just stays on your lips for a long time. It'll get rid of that. So if y'all didn't know that, get yourself some Neutrogena uh, makeup removing wipes and try them out. Um, I know people are trying to steer away from the, the the wipes, which is fine, you know, but I haven't used any kind of Neutrogena makeup removing liquids, you know, that you can use with, with a towel to take your towel off or I'm not sure how the makeup eraser works. So maybe that's something that I'll try in 2021. But for 2020, those are my two favorite makeup removing products. Now we're gonna go into this right here. You're probably, we're, we're looking at this the whole time and not knowing what, what this, what, what was the purpose of this being there, right? Well, because it's a tote. This is where I keep, this is where I kept all my products in here for facial cleansers. So my first, like I said, that's my first favorite you know, so like I'm, I'm letting you know today, these are all my favorites. So don't think that um, I'm going to love one less than the other because they're all my favorites. And the reason why I like this one is the most is because like I said, I do makeup videos and that helps me get rid of all the, the impurities or maybe it's just all in my mind. Maybe I have other, maybe the other facial cleansers I was using were doing the same, but I just, I just felt like I get more more of the stripping with with this cleanser it strips my skin more with this it, like it'll get rid of everything that's there and it leaves me a glow for some reason it, it leaves a glow in my on my skin like the glow you see now i did not i didn't use this today though i didn't use this tonight in the evening i use this like i said after it, i can use it in, in the morning or in the evening so this is just um, a separate cleanser i use for whenever i wear makeup so I will always use this, or if there's another salicylic, 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 <laughs> unless there's another salicylic, salicylic acid cleanser that's out there. Once this finishes, that I or that I have in my collection, I can probably incorporate that in my staple of skincare. So, but yeah, this is this is one of my favorites. Now, my second favorite. Well, no, no, no. Another one of my first favorites. I will not, I will not dismiss this <laughs> because I actually got me, I'm gonna, I actually went online because I washed my face today with it. And each time I wash my face with this one, I always get really nice skin results. Like my skin feels mattified. It gives me like this grip to my skin. And I've said this before in one of my videos when I, was testing this this bad boy here. It's called the Skin Regimen. 
cleansing cream, anti-pollution face wash. You cannot get it in Sephora, you cannot get it at Ulta. You have to go on their website and buy it. So I got the big tube. Yeah, it was 40 bucks, but it's worth it. So this is my second favorite. Well, my first two favorite facial cleansers. So yes, I'm gonna continue to keep using this. This is good for, um, you know, removing all the impurities, pollution, makeup, and SPF, which is good because I use SPF in the morning. I can always wear this in the evening or even in the morning, even though, you know, it says it, it, it gets rid of SPF. And to me, I think that was a plus because no other cleansers would say they would get rid of SPF. And, you know, SPF is pretty thick, you know, already applied. So I thought that was a very good, very good um, property. Uh, that it that it that it incorporates that and yeah so and you can also use it morning and evening so I use it today in the evening since I didn't wear any makeup today and today was not a makeup day for me and so those are my two first favorite um, facial cleansers of 2020 now my second favorite which would have been my first but I ran out of the which would have been my first but I had not tried uh this cleanser for too long so that's the reason why that's the reason why i haven't put it at my top on my top of the list as my one of my first favorites but my second favorite is my clinique liquid facial soap it's mild that's the reason why i put it as my second favorite because it's a mild soap it cleans it cleans your skin but i don't know if i'm getting um like deep cleaning deep cleansing, uh, get rid of any makeup, dirt and oils. I mean, it, it should. Now moving on to uh, toners. Um, the toners that I use for the morning, I usually use like a light toner for the morning because at night is whenever I use the more harsher toner. I, I would say harsher because it's the ones that like sting your face, but it, you know that you're it, it's penetrating your skin when you get that sting. But so the the lighter so the the light toner that I've been using is the uh, Fourth Ray by ColourPop uh, in Waterfall Gentle Tonic. So this is what I'm using for the day toner. For my night toner, I'm grabbing these bags. <laughs> so because I have these bags for morning. Orange for the sunshine, blue for the moon. So for the morning toner, or the, I already showed you my morning toner. My night toner, I use my Clinique Clarifying Lotion. You can use it twice daily, but I only use it in the, in the evening. Because that's whenever, like I said, like it's after I use makeup. Even if I don't use makeup, I still use it in the evening. So, but I'm running low, so I'm gonna like 2021. Not sure if I'll be having a different toner or if I'll be using the same toner. But I, I have so much skincare from, like I said, my Boxy Charm. So I have so much skincare. I'm, I'm gonna have to incorporate some of that into my in, into my staples for 2021. But yes, this is this is my favorite. So all of these are my favorite skin skincare products you know hygiene products hair products you know this is all my favorite i just want to let y'all know i just want to stress that that all these are my favorite so now moving along because this is my my, my video is being pretty long okay so moving along um there was some new products that i tried that i really liked a lot and one of them is this uh peptide for plumping pillow facial i already liked you know the results that I was seeing in the mornings uh, with this facial pillow uh, plumping pillow facial a hydrating sleeping mask that I'm already using a sleeping mask which is um, which is this one here and it's a serum it's a sleeping a sleeping mask plus a serum and I got this in one of, one of my boxy charm boxes as well so most of these products that I'm showing you are from my Ipsy and boxy charms and some that I bought of my own this is the Hydro Glow Sleep Serum Triple Action Hyaluronic Acid for All Skin Types. And it's from Mind Tan Body Skin. And so I'm using this as my serum. And for my moisture, this is for the nighttime, nighttime serum, of course. 
So that's why my pillow facial, I don't use that as much. <clears throat> um, also, this is not, I do want to get this out of the way because this is not a skincare item, but it is something that you would wear at night. It's my, also got this in my boxy charm. It's my uh, Dermalect Cos Cosmet Cosmet Cosmeceuticals Cosmetic Cosmeceuticals Extra Extra Large or XL Lash Volumizer. And what this is is a lash serum that helps um, your lashes grow and your brow hair, your brows grow as well. Um, it gives you longer volumizing lashes and I already did a, a wear test on this and I tried it out for 15 days and I did a video on that. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll go ahead and link that card up here. So yeah, I'll go ahead and link it up here so y'all can watch it. Um, it does work. It does work. So I had got me a backup or two backups for when I don't, when this finishes. I'm not using it currently at the moment because I already, already, um, already got it to the extent where I want my lashes to be at but I realized that when I re reapply this again like my lashes the next day like after I wash my face and then I start to put on my mascara I noticed that they um that my lashes look more full or more volumized when I put on my, ma my mascara so it works it really does work I do recommend people getting this I'm not sure uh, on how people reacted towards this if y'all if y'all if you ever had it if you ever bought it um or ha how did y'all react to any of these products that i'm showing you now i would like for y'all to leave your comments down below and let me know if you tried any of these products and how did you feel about them is it something that worked for you it didn't work for you something you didn't like is there something here that y'all don't like um so any so none of these products like overdraw my skin like as far as the body products go no they don't overdraw my skin um my shampoo doesn't overdraw my hair my 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 scalp or anything like that so it just it it moisturizes everything like everything that i that i use like my hair care moisturizes my hair my my bar soap moisturizes my body and it keeps it clean <laughs> so yeah there's nothing here that i have any kind of negative um feedback on so you leave me your comments down below if you had any bad experiences with any of these products i would really like to know Please let me know what your experiences were. So as far as the serums go and toners, um, there is another serum that I use in the morning. There's two serums that I use. Uh, one is a superfood and one is just an actual vitamin C serum. Um, and at night I also have, besides my, my sleeping mask serum from Hydroglow, um, I wanna show you my light serum that I use is by the Murad. My Murad Rapid Age Spot and Pigment Lightening Serum. This is a serum that I use also to kind of lighten my freckles or any kind of like blemishes I might have on my skin. And you know, trying these out, they really do work. They really have been working for me. That serum has really been working for me. I noticed that my skin looks a little bit more brighter. I'm able to wear um, shade, you know, foundations that are that are a tad bit lighter than my skin tone that I, you know, I had a other, um, like I remember that there was this foundation that had like an olive tone to it and, you know, as an undertone, an olive undertone to it, um, not the light olive undertone, but it was more like the actual olive undertone and I put that on my skin before using this product, like before, I'm talking about before I started my skin regimen and, and incorporating this here, that olive skin toned foundation really suited my skin. Like it really fit my skin tone. But so it, it like it was like you know it went well with my shade of skin tone. But as soon as but then I started wearing this, I do notice that it did kind of lighten up my skin a little. So now I'm using like a a tad bit lighter uh, skin tone um, foundation. For my for my skin I am using a lighter shade of skin tone a lighter shade of foundation is what I'm trying to say so the first the first thing I would use in the morning is my LMS superfood Sika calm hydrating gel I called this a mask in one of my videos but it's not it's a hydrating gel and I use this as a superfood and after that I use my vitamin C serum it has 
niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, skin brightening. Maybe this also help, is helping with my skin brightening as well. Um, even skin tone, um, correct dark and age spots. So I'm already using one at night, which is the Murad. And this is what I'm using in the morning also. So it's doing the same properties as the Murad one before the morning. And yeah, so that's the morning. And I am not going in any particular order, order here, like what my skin regimen is for the daytime and what my skin regimen is for the nighttime. I'm not putting it in any particular order. I'm just pulling out stuff as I go. Um, sorry about that. Maybe I should have kind of like, kind of put them in place. So the, the serum I was using, that was my second favorite serum as well for my face was the Estee Lauder <clears throat> Advanced Night Repair Serum. Yeah, this is the serum I would use at night, um, you know, before moisturizing. So that's one of my second favorite serums to wear for the night, for the evening. So after my night serum, you know, I would go with my Essay Lauder Revitalizing Supreme Global Anti-Aging Cream. Um, this is my first favorite anti-aging cream or cream moisturizer uh, of 2020. This is my, my, my second favorite. Um, actually, my first favorite because my other ones... The ones that I'm about to show you are not my first favorite. They're my like second favorite. They are my favorites. They're just like my second favorite. But this, the, the Estee Lauder one, wow, I really like that. Um, so moving on with like moisturizers. So the moisturizers that I'm using right now, in the daytime I'm using my Burt's Bees Daily Moisturizing Cream. And this is really good for people who have eczema, you know, who suffer from eczema. It's eczema association approved. So, um, it really, it just, and it's for sensitive skin. It says here for sensitive, it has cotton extract. I realized that this, this moisturizer I can wear day and night and I'm already running low on it. So either I'm going to buy another one of these or I'm probably just going to continue using whatever I have in my, in my stash of, of skincare products. So, but I noticed that. This is a daily moisturizing cream, so use it twice daily. It says use daily after cleansing with sensitive facial cleanser. So it's only for the morning, so that's the reason why I was using it for the morning, not at night. So yeah, I think after this finishes, I'll have to, you know, find a different moisturizer for my skin. Um, the moisturizer I'm using for the evening is the Kiel. well, not really, this is not the Kiel. I'm not using the Kiehl's, I'm using, Kiehl's is going to be the next moisturizer. I'll be using for 2021 so this is just in my bag because this one's already running low my Clinique one my Clinique dramatically different moisturizing lotion I was using this for the evening and this is what I have on now I think this that's why I'm having this dewy glowy look because this is what this lotion does it gives me that dewy glowy look or it could be the hydrating mask I don't know what's make, giving me this glowy dewy look but I know that this is a moisturizer I've been using for the evening, which which Kiehl's will, I'm gonna test out Kiehl's and this will take place of my evening moisturizer. So, um, so I can't really tell you, I can't really say this is my favorite yet because I haven't tried it yet. That's just gonna take place of my evening moisturizer. Now, moving on to eye creams. The only eye cream that I'm using right now it's a Burt's Bees eye cream with royal jelly. I use this for morning and night. And once this is gone, I'm gonna move on to another eye cream that I have in my stash because I have plenty of them. Thanks, Boxy Charm and Ipsy, for that. Um, so, yeah, I use this. Um, the only thing I can say, you know, it's it's my favorite because it's the only eye cream that I'm wearing. So I haven't really tried any other eye creams to tell you any difference. So this is my favorite from 2020. Until otherwise, until any further use of other eye creams, I can tell you um, if any other ones are better than this. But this is what I'm using now, and I'm satisfied with it. it it's, it's really like a moisturizer just underneath your eye when you apply it for real, to be honest with you. It's just like a regular moisturizer. 
and I don't know if it's giving me any kind of effects, like any kind of properties of like um, when you have baggy puffiness under the eyes, which I doubt because I still get them. I still get puffy eyes. And I haven't used any eye gel masks. I used to have, I used to have eye gel masks were like one of my staples one of my staples for my for my skin regimen either in the morning or at night I would wear like an eye gel mask but I have not done it yet but I will start continuing to use eye gel masks because um I need them I need them for my eyes I need to depuff my eyes so the next thing like oh so that was the eye cream the next thing I would take to tell to show um is this Murad from Ipsy I got this from Ipsy I don't know if you can see it from here. It's the Murad uh, Environmental Shield Essential C Day Moisture Broad Spectrum SPF. So this is, I recommend anybody who wants a, like an SPF to go out and get this one. It's $72 on Ulta, but it's worth it. Even on their website, it's $72 the, for the full size. But um, for me, it's kind of steep, so I'm not going to use this one. I already have... A full size one in one of my Ipsy boxes that I got from my Ipsy Plus. So I think I have um, a regular size one. So I really, I really got, uh, I really got fortunate on that one. You know, um, not too many people are fortunate enough to, to, well, if they had it that month, if they had that box with, with uh, that with this in it, you know, for the regular size one then they got it but I do recommend this for for everybody for anybody to wear the next thing here the last thing the last staples staples I would say staples the last staples of my skincare for my favorites I will have to say are my lip treatments and my lip scrub so I'm gonna show you my lip scrub which I don't use my lip scrubs day or night. I use it sometimes. You know, when when I feel like my, my whenever I feel like my lips are a little dry, when I feel like my skin is peeling or yeah, I feel like my skin is kind of over drying on my lips and I can feel like, you know, it's it's getting crusty on my lips. I'm like, oh no. I gotta have some kind of scrub. So I put on my scrub. This tastes really good. I don't eat it, but it gets in your mouth. You can't help but taste it. It tastes really sweet. Um, it has, uh, it's a sugar lip polish. It gently exfoliates and conditions. It's by the brand Fresh. I got this in Sephora on their Sephora website. And I recommend this to anybody because this really does work. So if you're somebody who who's always having crusty lips, Who's always having who's suffering with crusty lips? I didn't mean to sound who's always having crusty lips. Sounds gross, right? No, who's suffering with crusty with crusted lips or dry lips that are over drying and peeling. Try this lip polish and try it on a regular basis. What you want to do is you wanna you wanna apply it on your on your lip and just scrub it and then press your lips together. Because it has beads. It has like sugar beads in it. It feels like sugar beads uh, or granules. And you just scrub, scrub, scrub until those granules become fine and they start to feel like a lip balm on your skin. This starts to feel like a lip balm. So I just leave it on my skin. I just leave it on, I just leave the lip balm feeling on my lips. You're supposed to wipe it off with, with like a, a moist towel. But if you really have really dry lips, like I always, I always like eyeball it to where if, if I really have really dried lips that day, I just kind of leave it on longer, you know, like a balm and then I'll wipe it off or I just let it, or I just let it, um, throughout the day, you know, I just let it just, um, disappear or vanish, you know, throughout the day, just let it wear out, wear off. But if you're, if, but if you're just using it like, um, like a staple like maybe you should use it every single day or every other day and then yeah wipe it off with with a with the towel once you get once your lips are back to normal where they're not where they're not peeling and they're not crusted or anything like that then start wiping it off with the towel because you really don't need to use it as a balm once your lips are already 
back to normal. So this is one of my favorites from 2020 for my lip. Now my night treatments, these are the ones that I use on a regular basis, on the regular for the night and for the day. For these are lip treatments that I that I wear on the on the you know that I would wear like on the, on a regular basis. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm sorry. I'm trying to make this video short. I mean not too long. I don't want it to go over the 40 minutes. But I know I'm, I have a lot. I had a lot to show you guys and share with you guys what I wanted to show you. So for the evening, I do have this agave um, nighttime lip therapy treatment, and this lasts you a, a pretty good a pretty good time. Um, I, it comes with a spatula, a plastic spoon spatula, and. It looks like this on the inside as you can see look all them little dipping marks little dip marks that I have in there it's lasted me a long time I haven't had to buy me another one in in like I think for a year I, I've had this for a year already and it's already halfway almost gone so by the end of 2021 or by the end of maybe in three or four more months or six months this is gonna be gone and I'm gonna need another one I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna have to buy me another one because I, I, this is my favorite one. I don't have any other uh, lip night treatments. So maybe I either get this or I'll buy another one just to test it out. And try it out and see how this, this how another one will work for me. Now, this is something new that came in my Ipsy bag. It's called the k -Voss Lip Treatment. And I was like, sure, yeah, why not? Let me try it because I love the way it smells. And it tastes, it, it's not sweet, but when you pucker your lips together, you get that flavor in your mouth. And it smell. it tastes so, it, it, the flavor is good. It tastes good in your mouth. <sighs> I, can, I can use this all day long. It's the, um, it has that raspberry, strawberry, like that strawberry, um, if, you, if you like Starburst. Do you like Starburst? If you don't like Starburst, then you may not like the scent or the taste of this but if you like you know lip treatments or lip glosses that have that have those like sweet you know aftertaste or taste to them or smells you know what i'm trying to say scents or fragrances you are gonna love this one this is the k Voss lip treatment and i use this in the morning and it gives you a tint to your lip as well so that's the reason why sometimes when i look at my videos and i'm editing and I see that my lips look like they're t they have a tint to them, and it's because I I use this my K Boss lip treatment. And even when I don't wear it that day, my lips still look like there's a tint to them. So, but um, but no, it I mean it's just my lips are now used to having a tint to them because I've been using my lip treatment. So it's really good to use a lip treatment for yourself, um, treat yourself to some nice looking lips. So, but. This is all. This is all my my skin care, hair care, nail care, which is no nail care, um, and hygiene's favorites of 2020. So thank you for watching my gems. I love you all. Thank you for being big supporters of my channel. For those who are new to my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, give my video a thumbs up. Don't, you know... I was going to say don't change that channel, but it's the end of the video, so you're probably going to have to change it to a different video but or, or watch something else. But um, I'm glad you, you did not change the channel while I was showing you the products of my, my best and worst of 2020. So thank you, my gems. Thank you for watching and staying there throughout, uh, you know, staying here throughout the whole video. And wow, you know, with my cat ears. You know, just thought it would be something fun, you know, with this video, you know, to go with the theme. So, yeah, leave me your comments down below. What do you think? Are these, for, you know, what do y'all think about my cat ears? Y'all like them? <laughs> so, thank you, my gems. I love you all. Um, I do appreciate y'all, you know, so much words can't express. So, thank you. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.